We have a light here fitting. It should be corked around here, stops water getting in, water gets in there, it could come in contact with the conductors and that could lead to electrocution. We're at the front elevation of uh, French drains in the ground. Ground is drying up and we have a large tree. Two large trees. They evaporate a lot of water. Uh, here we are at the front right. The grade is pulling away from the edge. Uh, that can cause um, the foundation to uh, subside. The grade is pulling away from the side, it needs to be addressed. That's going to uh, affect the foundation. Cracks developing here, differential settlement, minor, just cosmetic at the moment. Now we have a settlement crack under the window there. And I would attribute it to the grade. Look here, you can see how it's pulling away. See the holes developing there? All of that is going to affect the foundation. We have signs of border penetration here. Uh, the uh, trim board is breaking. There's more signs of water penetration there. So it may be that there's a bit of a leak into the roof system. Dry vent. It needs to be corked around the edge of the dry vent. Here we have the power. We have a grounding bar. But we don't have any corking around the top. Another deferential settlement crack here. And we have more signs of border penetration here. See how the water is affecting the wood. It actually swells, pulls it apart. We have the gas supply line. We do not have any covers on the uh, external outlets. There's water penetration here. Can you see down the bottom of the siding? Um, possibly coming from the roof level. We'll have a better idea when we go up on the roof. There's signs of water penetration here, you can see on the siding there. Water, moisture meter, we've got moisture in the actual wood itself. Uh, we've got 14%. Got a water penetration point around uh, the hose bib. We have more separation here and more indications of a roof leak here. That's quite a quite extensive rot. Now that could be caused by the gutter more than anything else. This is definitely caused by water intrusion and some amount of settlement. But we've not found a lot of really bad cracks. Got uh, vegetation growing up here, should be cut back. You don't want it on the walls. In general, the, there are non-existent swales around the whole of the building. So the grading's incorrect. It's what it was done in the time it was built. We have a conditioner compressor, conduit. It's loose. In fact, it just fell out in my hands. And it's re reattaching. It should be corked around the top here, stop water getting in. Look at the front right elevation looking for cracks so well, in summary we don't have many cracks on the external of the building um, shows a little sign of a great deal of settlement but we will be measuring the level of the foundation a little bit later cover missing from the uh, heater missing sediment trap 
water leak at ventilator. Water on uh, flu. Temperature pressure relief valve doesn't work. We have a ordinary door here, it's not a fire door. And we don't have uh, self-closing hinges. There's no voltage at the uh, washer, uh, the, uh, oh, washer really? hook up. I can't find it. it could... No anti-tip device on the cooker. Splash guard is broken at the food disposal. There's a water leak at the chimney cap. Shows up at the actual uh, damper. Water leak at the front window on the left elevation, you can see here. And it looks like a long-term one. Let's have a look at the window outside. Oops, sorry. Yeah, there's no apparent, uh, sh uh, you know, a water entry point apart from down here. There's a, uh, a hole in the corking, and that would certainly be suspect. A fogged that. window here. Fogged. Yeah, it's fogged. Seals are gone on it. Window's jammed. We're not open, so there's no egress from the room. Right. There's some movement in the window and wall here. You can see where it's cracked. That's caused by movement in the wall system, which is again moved by the, the foundation. We have a missing sediment tap from the gas line. Other than that, radiant barrier, all in good condition. Uh, no bonding on the pipe. Installation on the uh, condensate line, all good. We're at the left elevation and we've got a broken uh, drip feeder. That's a nice little hose of water coming out here. We have a ground water leak on zone 7 at the rear elevation.